You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to check out a slushy maker. This is the easy to make, fun food in minutes, icy maker, ages four plus. I don't know if you've seen this. Uh, I looked on YouTube, there's only one video of this and it is the company, and they don't actually show you the IC Maker in great detail. So I thought, well, let me check it out. I want to see what it does, how it works, if it works. It says, makes delicious slushies in under five minutes. Let me turn this around. They give you three delicious flavors, watermelon, orange, and cherry. And all the food ingredients are made in the USA. Those do look good. And then this side tells you everything that's in there. You have the top cap, the main cup, Serving spoon, measuring spoon, inner lid, inside canister with three packs of flavors. Let's look at the back. It's probably giving you nutritional information. It does. Washing instructions, and there are also refills available. But most of these makers, you can pretty much put anything you want inside to turn it into a slushy, as long as it's got enough sugar content. All right, let me do this quick change here. Come back and we'll get it out of the package. All right, here we go. Let's check it out. I have not had it out of the actual box itself. I did check to see if all the stuff was there, which I did. So the packaging is still pretty much intact on the maker and everything else. And there's my packets. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Let's get this going here. There's all the pieces that they said. Okay, there's my measuring device. There's the inner cup. Now a lot of these, it's just a little salt, a little ice, and you are good to go. So there we go, there's that. And then another little serving type spoon and the instructions. So usually, of course, they want you to wash everything first. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's just take a quick look at the packets to make sure they're still okay. Let's see, did I get a date on this? The date is 2009. So technically, it's already 10 years old. And let's see. Okay, this one? Good. This one? Uh, looks a little funky inside, orange slushy. I see two colors in there. This one looks okay. They appear to be okay. All right, let's take a quick look at this. Let's see, okay, definitely wash everything. Wash all parts by hand thoroughly, so I need to do that. Thank you for choosing the easy to make Icy Instant Slushy Maker. They also have a bunch of other ones, the ice cream maker, they have a marshmallow maker, chocolate maker, all different kinds. Uh, with your super fun slushy maker, you can make a delicious frozen treat within minutes. Please follow all instructions carefully to ensure you have fun and obtain the best results. Now, a lot of times you have to refrigerate this. Remove the metal canister and clear the lid from the main cup. Okay, it doesn't say to refrigerate. Well, there you go, there's the instructions. I will follow this. Let me gather the supplies, tips. Okay, and then cleaning up. All right, so here we go. I will be back with supplies and we'll be a little further along after I wash it and we'll follow these instructions. All right, here we go. I've actually had that in the freezer even though it didn't say to do that. I have a good idea that I should do that and it's been sitting on my ice, it didn't say crushed ice, it just said ice and they show big cubes, so it's different. I've seen it different ways for different slushy makers. Remove the metal canister and clear inner lid from the main cup. Okay, fill half to three quarters of the main cup with ice cubes, but allow enough room for your other cup to sit. So let's just see, we want the most maximum amount here. That's gonna be good right there. And then, okay, the fill line. There's this little measuring cup here. They're saying this is the fill line. Measuring cup, salt. Okay, so right to that line. Now remember, I've had a lot of people confused thinking that the salt is actually in the mix. It's not in the mix. Okay, and then, let's see, that was that step. And then to the fill line of the measuring cup, water. Okay, let's do that. I've got some icy cold water here ready to go. Okay, so that's that. Now, put in the metal canister, all right. Well, it doesn't seem to lock in any particular way. It just kind of sits in there. And place the metal, metal canister back inside the main cup. Slushy flavor mix. Choose a preferred mix. So we're going to try 
watermelon. What do you think? Does that sound good? Watermelon for a nice warm day. Here we go. Sniff. Well, I'll be honest with you, it smells a little bit like watermelon and slightly pungent. But I'm not sure what that pungent scent is just yet. All right, so put that into the main canister. I just did it this way so I could see it. Okay. Measuring spoon. Add four tablespoons of water and mix it thoroughly. Okay, here we go. That's why I want everything icy cold. One. Two. Three. And four. It almost looks like it hits right to a fill line that's in there. There's a first line that's in there and it's hitting it just right. All right, so all this is done. So the inner cap goes first, and this locks to the top a little bit, I guess. It doesn't really necessarily lock. And then this one does. This goes down like this. Okay, I think I turned that too much. Like right there? I think that's it. No, it doesn't seem like it's it. There we go. Okay, that's it. And then shake. All right. Three to four minutes. So I will check back in in three to four minutes and we'll see how it looks. All right, still going. 139, 136. We will check it. I'll tell you what, I'll check it with one minute left to go. And we'll see if it's changed at all. So I'll be back in just a little bit. By the way, how's your summer? It's not starting just yet. Anybody, everybody out of school? How's things going there? Let me know in the comments. And I will continue while I'm here now. Well, I'll come back, say, when there's 30 seconds left. And I only set it for free, so it could take even longer. So I'll be back in a little bit. Do, 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 just singing along while I shake. Okay, it does say remove the cap and clear lid. Use the flat end of your mixing spoon to scrape off the icing. All right, let's just see if we have anything yet. Come on, Cap. Oh, it feels like it's sealed on just a little. Okay, so I have a little bit. A little bit. And it's around the edges. See that? So that is working. Okay, let me cap it back up. Go a little bit longer. But it's close at the three-minute mark. It's definitely something that you would be able to eat and enjoy. So let me just uh, reset this for one more minute and start. And I will come back again. We'll check it out. Got a little spill there. Yeah, well, I'm here with you. I might as well stay a little bit. All right, so exciting news, well, good news, is that I have, let me see, I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a dozen or so makers. I've been cleaning up my inventory and cleaning up and finding out what I've done and what I haven't done, finding missing pieces. They're all in order, so after every video, I'm gonna give you a chance to pick the next maker set. I'm pretty excited about it. I've got my list. I had to put together a whole grocery shopping list for supplies that I needed. Come on, the last few seconds. To give this a taste. Ah, woo! Tiring. Okay, let's see. It should be even better now. Would you like an extreme close-up? Ooh, that looks pretty good. I have to say, for a lot of the ones that I've tried, this one probably looks like one of the best ones. It is nice, slushy consistency. Look at that. Scrape. Got 
Look at that. Wow. I bet you I can just put another one in here, freshen it up a little. That's what I'm going to do. All right, let me move this to my bowl here, which I put the watermelon in. And I'll show you what it looks like. Look at that. So let me transfer this to the freezer. I should keep it nice and fresh like this. Let me freshen up my mix. Or I'll just eat, whoa, stop. I'll just test here. All right, so you get the watermelon flavor, but you also get a nice pungenty kind of like back flavor. So I don't know how much more I'm gonna eat of that one. Let me clean this up, come right back, put this in the fridge, and I'll do the next flavor. Okay, let's look at this inside here. So this did, does need to be pushed down. Okay, so I'm gonna add a couple more ice cubes. Kind of freshen that up a little bit. A little bit of the salt. I had to find my spoon. And I'm gonna leave it with the water that's there. So this really needs to be pushed down way in there. Okay, now let's try a different color. Let's try orange. I have to say, first one worked really good. Let's see if we get that nice pungenty smell from orange. Yeah, orange doesn't look too good. Yeah, orange is worse, but let's try it anyway. Why not? We'll put it right in. It's got some... Nice brown to it, and then it was, ooh, it was four tablespoons, okay. I'm probably not gonna taste these much, so it's more now just to see how it works. I wonder if I should get my own liquid. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna, the last one I'm gonna do my own liquid. Okay, well, you probably don't wanna be with me while I'm mixing this again do you all right let me get my clock set clock four start okay i think the last one i'll forego the cherry because it's looking like i won't be able to eat much and then i'll come back with like a lemonade or something like that maybe i'll check back in halfway like i did last time okay let's see Ooh, i like the color you could tell. See, I did drop a couple cubes in there by accident. Looks like they're hanging out there. Yep, nice. Yeah, I think it's only befitting that I try my own liquid in here and see if it's something with the powder mix that's got a chemical in it that's making it freeze. I don't know what's in that mix. It's hard to break up. There we go. Still looks kind of cool, doesn't it? I mean, besides the quantity being, you know, a mere morsel, it works, it does what it says. Okay, I mix a little bit more. Now the ice cream one, believe it or not, pretty much the exact same thing. So you could make ice cream in this one. It's in the shape of an ice cream cone though. So that's what makes it a little more unique and fun. All right in two minutes or a minute now well yeah two minutes okay here we go let's see what we get hopefully it, it is look how nice that is i have to say i'm really impressed with the overall uh, ability of the machine to do what it says and i'm actually the machine so <laughs> the equipment i'm putting all the energy into it it's almost past the point of being a slushy it's like turned it into ice. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna move this one to the freezer and I'll come back with all of them, but I wanna do just like a regular lemonade. One of my favorite slushies, just lemon drink mix. So I will be back. All right, just kind of wiping things down. I'm gonna start the next one somewhat fresh. There's still some 
ice and the salt in the bottom of that. So here we go. So you remember the initial measurements? It's about that. One of these to that first line and then a little bit of the water. Okay, now this time I'm just gonna pour some good old fashioned country time lemonade in there. Now there is a third line in there, there's three lines. Let me get some of that. Hold on a second. I thought I cleaned it pretty good, but there's some residuals. Okay, I bet you're all probably saying, hey, just go a little higher, see if it works. Well, why not? Okay, it's a little bit above the line. Okay, now the lid, which is not as clean as I would like it. There we go. Okay. This one I will definitely eat. All right, I will check back in two minutes and we'll see how it looks. Here we go. All right, a quick check here at the two minute mark. We'll see if it works on any liquid. And so far it is, let's just see. Yes, it's working. See, it's got that cooting around the outside edge. So this one I can't wait to eat. All right, two more minutes and then I'll wrap it all up. I'll bring all the flavors back and we'll taste this one for sure, but we'll discuss the maker. Okay, so now you see my beautiful colors there. Last one, let's see how this one turned out. It actually turned out pretty good. Actually, the best of all of them. I think my natural lemonade is gonna be the best. They wanted to use the scraper side. I'm kind of jumping the gun here. There we go. Get this chunky stuff out of here. I'm gonna say overall, it worked really good. Would you agree? I think you would have to agree. Now you don't get a lot. I, I think it's just uh, the ability to make your own item. Mm. Now that one is good. Now you're probably saying, you didn't at least try the orange. All right, I'll take a tiny bit. No, don't eat that. Ooh, it's pungent. Let me clean my palate. Uh, much better. All right, so like I said, the ice cream one does the same thing, made of the same stuff, just shaped like an ice cream cone. This one's got the icy slushy maker on the front. Hope you enjoyed the video. I decided not to bring in those two makers. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a poll on a community post instead. This way, this video won't show them. The community post will. It might even be a short little video asking you which maker you wanna see next. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making this with you. I'm gonna finish this. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.